Yo, what's up, people? Today's Apex Guide is for every Twitch streamer's favorite legend, Wraith. I never got why people picked her so much until they started meeting her for this guide, and I get it now. Wraith is so perfect for that selfish and solo lone wolf type of playstyle, but I'm gonna be showing you how to be a bit more team oriented with her abilities, so if you were looking for solo tips, that might not be in this video. So, on to Wraith's abilities. Her tactical is called Into the Void, her passive is Voices from the Void, and her ultimate is called Dimensional Rift. Starting with her tactical into the void, which I'm just gonna call phase from now on because that's a pretty long name and that's what it was in Titanfall 2. The phase ability allows Wraith to go into another dimension which makes her invulnerable for 4 seconds with a 30% speed boost and cooldown for this ability is 25 seconds. This ability has a long 2 second animation, 1 second to start and 1 second to finish. So during that entire process, and by process I mean start animation, into the void and the end animation, you can't interact with anything. But you can still see enemies. Enemies can also see you but you just look like a blue trail. Once you start this ability there is no way to cancel it so you just have to wait until it's over. Voices from the Void only activate with certain interactions, but basically this ability is just different wraiths from different dimensions warning you of incoming danger, and you can then share that info with your team. The voices activate when someone aims at you, a sniper is aiming at you, a grenade is thrown at you, or there are traps nearby. The voices for the traps are for Watson and Caustic traps, but to be honest, these voices aren't always 100% helpful because I'll walk into traps and there'd be no warning or the voice would warn me of a trap like a split second before I walk into it and I had no time to react so keep that in mind. Lastly her ultimate dimensional rift, Wraith can connect two different places via portals. The portals stay up for one minute and the cooldown for this ability is three and a half minutes. You can put the portals about 75 meters apart and at the top you'll see rift energy indicating how much further you can go before the second portal is automatically placed but you can manually place the exit yourself before then. If you place the exit down before using 5% of the energy, it automatically cancels and refunds your ultimate. Just like phasing, once you start this ability, you can't interact with objects, but you do get another speed boost. And while using your ultimate, it cuts down the animation time to use your phase ability. So on to gameplay tips. Wraith is a weird legend in terms of how you play her and use her abilities. They're kind of total opposites. Wraith is a great legend for playing aggressively and offensively, but her abilities are best used defensively. Starting with the phase ability, because the animation start and ending is so long, it's best to use this for running away and not for trying to be stealthy and pushing into enemies. For two reasons. First, the animations will get you killed, and secondly, you can't get out of the void until the timer on the ability runs out, even if you can see people. This ability is a get out of jail free card, however, you can't wait until the last second to use it like you would with Octane or Mirage. Again, long animation times, so it's best to use this preemptively. When you sense danger is coming, hit the phase and run away or relocate. Another reason you don't want to wait too late to phase is that if you phase in front of an enemy, despite getting a speed boost, they can actually keep up with you and kill you as soon as you get out of the void. Which leads to the next tip, when you phase to escape danger, try to get to cover by the time your ability ends. Even if people saw you phasing away, you're behind cover so they can't kill you instantly when you reappear. A lot of people use the phase ability when they're being shot at, but you should be using it for a lot more than just that. You can swap dimensions for a couple seconds, so use this to get away from any physical damage, not just when you're being shot at. So, if you're being spammed with grenades, if you're stuck in Caustic's gas, hit Watson's fences, or under Gibraltar and Bangalore's airstrikes, just phase and run away. You can even use this to get away from Crypto's EMP, but you have to be really quick on the draw to get away from that one. And most importantly, the ring. Phasing to avoid damage if you get caught in the storm for a few seconds will save you from dying many times. Now, I know I've been saying you can't interact with anything while phasing, but that's not exactly true. The one thing you can interact with is zip lines. Phase well on a zip line to avoid damage for a few seconds to get on the other side safely. When it comes to her passive, honestly for the first time I don't have any tips on this one. The voice that warns you of danger is very unreliable. It'll tell you a trap is there after you trigger it and that someone is aiming at you after half your shield is already broken. So honestly the only time this is kinda useful is if there's a sniper far away aiming at you or you're looting a death box out in the open and you get spotted. Her secondary passive, however, is what I'll be talking about. 
Wraith has a second passive called Low Profile, which actually makes her harder to hit, but she takes 5% more damage when you actually do hit her. Some other legends have this passive, but it works the best on Wraith because she is the smallest legend in the game, and so is her hitbox. So, bob and weave, jump and duck, and dance around cover when in gunfights. Run zigzag and slide to cover if you're pushing up on enemies. Make yourself hard to hit on top of your already small hitbox. It's a bit unfair because I feel like I'm running through people's bullets sometimes, but until they fix it, take advantage of Wraith's small size. Now on to Wraith's portals. How you use her ultimate is where you really become a team player. You can teleport your entire team to somewhere else in a few seconds, so you always want to keep your ult full by using charge towers or ultimate accelerants. There's two main ways you can use your portals, for relocating and escaping. For relocating, this is where you might be pinned down by a team that has height advantage over you or you're sandwiched between other teams, or you want to move to a more strategic position in a fight. So the first tip is to put your portals behind cover. Moving your entire team without anyone knowing can give you a big advantage. You can get the drop on people that thought they had you pinned down. So basically you don't want them to see the entrances of your portals, you don't want them to know that you even moved. While using your ult, hit your face in sections you think you'll be in the enemy's line of sight till you can get behind cover. This stops you from being shot at and even if you are seen phasing away, they won't know that you're using your portal. You can also use your portals to help your team get out of the storm, but only if you are already out of it. If both ends of your portals are in the storm for 5 seconds, the portal disappears. One end has to be out of the storm in order for this to work. When it comes to using portals for escaping, it's kind of the same premise as using your phase ability. Don't wait till the last second to use your portal and try to escape. Put down a portal that ends just around the corner or a short distance away and come back to fight. So if you need it, it's there waiting cause it'll be there for a full minute. What a lot of wraiths I've seen do is try to run as far as possible and then open the portals, but by then the other teammate and I are dead. You don't have to use all the rift energy, just getting your team around the corner is good enough as long as they're out of immediate danger. Use portals to safely revive down teammates during fights. Drop a portal a short distance away, then revive them once they come through. Again, just like the previous tape, the idea is to just get them out of immediate danger as fast as possible. And the last tip is to protect your portals. If you took a portal for a quick escape and you're pretty close to dying, the enemies might take your portal to finish you off. If you're playing Wraith, drop grenades by your portal exits and keep running. Thermite grenades are the best cause they burn the longest and spread right across the ground. If you're in a squad with a Wraith and you took the portal to escape, drop grenades, caustic traps, Bangalore smoke, or you can set up walks and fences in front of the portal exit to slow down the enemy squad if they decide to chase you. So here's how to play Wraith. Your role is a hybrid between offensive and support. Because of her small hitbox and her animations are so fast and smooth, it feels like you're going faster than you actually are, which is great for playing aggressively. Bob and Weave and play around cover when in shootouts to take advantage of your small size and make yourself hard to hit. You can play somewhat reckless cause you got an ability to get out of danger, but just don't wait to use it at the last second. Face to get away from any physical damage like bullets, grenades, or other legend abilities that cause damage. Phase well on zip lines if you're being shot at to avoid damage for a few seconds. I'd suggest using this on the lower half of jump towers especially cause that's most likely when you can be shot off the tower. When it comes to using portals, keep an eye on your squad's health and be ready to get them out of dangerous situations. Use your portals to reposition and get the advantage on an unsuspecting squad that thought they had you pinned down, or to get your team away from danger for a few seconds to get off a quick revive. If you're respawning teammates in a hot zone, drop a portal so they can take it as soon as they touch the ground because the dropship will attract nearby squads. The key to playing Wraith is finding the right balance between playing super aggressive and knowing when it's time to leave. Whether it's using the phase ability to save yourself or using portals to move the entire team, because of her abilities, you and your squad can survive most situations you probably would die in if you weren't playing a mobility legend like Wraith. So that's how you play Wraith. If you found this guide helpful, you can leave a like and comment down below if you have any other tips for how to play Wraith and subscribe for more Apex Legends content. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.